Also today, fighting Cleveland's lead problem was once again front and center today. For years now, children of the city have tested for lead levels several times higher than the national average. And local and federal leaders met to hammer out what can be done to fix this. Amanda Abraham reports. My daughter was poisoned at the age of four. Robin Brown's daughter was exposed to lead back in 1999. Today, Brown is sharing her story and joining in the conversation as an advocate for prevention and education. It's not an easy place as a parent or a family because it doesn't just impact the child, it impacts the whole family. Here in Cleveland, each year, more than a thousand children are afflicted by unsafe levels of lead exposure. According to the Cleveland Clinic, it's a dangerous problem that the city of Cleveland has been working to tackle. And I know that my hometown is going to lead the way. Former Ohio Congresswoman and now the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Marsha Fudge, joined city leaders today as part of a roundtable discussion. Anytime a nation, a great nation, cannot find a way to take care of its children, we have failed. We have failed. Failure is not an option anymore. Millions of dollars in funding is in place to help fix the lead problem in the city through the Lead Safe Cleveland Coalition. They're focused on prevention. Homes built before 1978 are presumed to have lead-based paint. The city now has a law in place to create lead-safe homes. We're going to be focused on making sure that we get every home in the city compliant with our lead-safe laws, but also hold those landowners accountable as well, too. Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb called the lead paint crisis public enemy number one and says the city is committed to fixing the problem. If we don't get the lead paint crisis fixed, we will not solve this issue long term. That's right. And uh, here in Cleveland, they passed a law in 2019 requiring that all residential rental units built before 1978 be certified as lead safe. And those units are required to have their certification by no later than March 1st of, the, of next year for us. Okay. I'm Abraham in the newsroom. Thank you.